know what type of effect you have on a man. So, of course, he gonna want to fuck you. That's the nigga you dealing with. But y'all in relationships with bitches that ain't even giving you no pussy. Because you believe in your mind, oh, you know, I'm wrong for wanting sex or I'm wrong for wanting to be freaky. How the fuck? <laughs> when a motherfucker's in a relationship, the, f the first year in a relationship, y'all getting it on like fucking jackrabbits. I'm not ashamed of that shit. I get it on. But you're dealing with a bitch that don't want to get it give it get it on with you. She wanna talk about other shit when bitch you supposed to be dropping that shit like it's hot on your man. But you sit there and you believe that and you take that so she shame you for sex, make you feel like you are some sort of sexual deviant when you're not. You're natural, you are a natural breathing man. It's nothing wrong with you. It has a lot to do with the women that you put in your surroundings. That's the fucking problem. That's the problem. It's not you. It's the women that you deal with and you put around you. So you already got a woman demonizing you for not being a man. You got a woman demonizing you for your dick too. Your dick getting hard and wanting to fuck. You, you, you entertaining a bitch that's killing your, your, um, your, your, um, your sex, your sex drive. And that's the bitch you want to deal with. The bitch going for your money. The bitch going for your body. The bitch going for your life. The bitch going for your dick and your balls. She attacking all that shit. And you sit there and you deal with that bitch. And you actually believe something wrong with you. Because you got a, a functioning dick. Does that make sense to you? So why the fuck you let a bitch shame you? Why the fuck you? Why the hell you let a woman shame you on something that's fucking natural? That's natural. Like, it makes no sense to me. And you sit there and let a bitch shame you on one an ass. Men like all kind of ass. Fat, skinny, short, tall. Light skin, dark skin. Spanish, white, black, Hispanic, Chinese. Men like all kind of pussy. Big ass, small ass. Big titties, small titties. And you let a bitch shame you on that? That's just like when kings had wives, he had many different wives. And on top of the wives he had, he had concubines. Because if a wife, if the woman couldn't bear no sons, he was trying to bust nuts in them holes to get him a fucking son. Because he had to leave a legacy. And he ain't seen nothing wrong with that. But you listen to a bitch making you feel guilty for your manhood. Do you understand listening to that shit every day? Every day in your mind. And you got women that talk shit to the men that they claim they love every fucking day. You got women that will tell you that every day. What the fuck you think that's going to do to your psyche? How, how the hell you live with somebody like that? How you deal with somebody like that? So you going to override your manhood for the sake of your children? You going to override your manhood for the sake of money? You overriding the things that's what's right is now wrong. You overriding all that shit for the sake of the bitch. And a lot of you are scared to leave the bitch because you know the bitch crazy. But listen, hell have no fury than a fucking man that's pissed. You a man that live in your truth, no bitch can cross you on that. No bitch. But you, you, she put fear in you like she's crazy. Are you fucking kidding me? A bitch know not to step on your goddamn toes when she's dealing with the truth. But because you live a lie, you begin to fear her and what the fuck she might do to you. You fearing a woman? You fearing a bitch? That bitch got a hole between her legs. That bitch bleed every fucking month. Do you understand? We be emotional as fuck. We talk all that shit and then we'll come back to you sucking your dick the next day. Do you understand that? But you fear that bitch? Come on now, Sam. Let's like, like. Let's just be real here. Like, what we not going to do? I'm not. Uh, I mean, they be talking about women like women are so fucking powerful. How the fuck the bitch powerful? Her titties milk as soon as you nut in her and get her pregnant. Her titties start milking. That's powerful to you? Like, let's just be real here. Like, we ain't about to do that. That bitch can't do shit to you. Nothing. Nothing. What you say go and what you say you mean. You live by that. That bitch can't do shit to you. In actuality, when a bitch get like that, she want to control you. And because you ain't listening, she lose her fucking mind. That's what really happens. And you stand ten toes down on the shit that you believe in. 
and everything you say is right and it's gonna go that way because it's your castle it's not hers it's not her castle so it's either she shut the fuck up sit her ass down and do what needs to be done and get the fuck on because it's listen i'm gonna tell you something in your mind you may thinking oh, oh man like you know i don't know if i'm gonna find a woman listen nigga go out there you will find a bitch better than her way better that looks better more submissive more feminine and you can start with a fresh get rid of the fucking trash take the trash out take the fucking trash out because a lot of you niggas don't want to take the trash out you don't want to take the trash out you sitting there with stank old rotten garbage and that shit is stinking it's, it got maggots and flies and everything. And you still dealing with fucking trash. Because you you don't lost who you were because the bitch done talked so bad about you. She done went after your manhood. She done went after your money. She done went after your sexual drive as a man. And now at the end of the day, you feel like you don't have the courage to go out there and start over. Get rid of the fucking trash. When y'all trash day come? Because my trash day come on Tuesdays. And Fridays, when your trash day come, take the fucking trash out. Take the fucking trash out. Because if you wake up miserable, you a miserable fucking man. And you become a dangerous man. On Friday, when the fucking trash come, um, when the, when the trash day come, take the bitch out. Throw her shit out. Or leave the bitch. You can have the shit. Why y'all men scared to sleep in y'all cars? I'm not scared to sleep in my goddamn car. If I was a man, I'd sleep in my goddamn car. I'm different. Like, you you want to know if you sleep in your car, how to take showers? Go to a truck stop gas station. They got showers there. You can still take showers. Put your clothes in your trunk. Let the bitch have it. Let the bitch pay all those goddamn bills. Leave her with all the goddamn bills. And whatever bill that's in your name, get them shut off. Let that bitch put them in her name. Because that bitch got to pay a deposit. Get Pack all your shit. Put it in the trunk. Tell her, say, say I'll, 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 I'll reach out to Jimmy. Because this at the end of the day, she going to want you to see your motherfucking kids. Because the kids going to be begging for you and she going to be missing you. Because the money ain't there no more. The dick ain't there no more. And ain't nobody there. She can drive fucking crazy. Get in your goddamn car. Sleep in your car. Go to work, take a shower at a pilot or a love gas station or a TA because they have um, showers. And those showers be like $2. They be like $2, $5. If you get gas there, you get points and you get free showers. You know, I, I run a company. You know what I mean? I, I, I got a couple of truck drivers and I know how the game go. So you move your shit out of the house with the bitch. Put it in your car and leave the bitch. Turn off all the fucking bills in your name. And they're going to send you the deposit. They're going to ask you, where do you want your deposit? Say you want to deposit in your account or you want, or you, um, tell them you want it in your account or send it to one of your family members' house. Fuck that bitch. Take the fucking trash out. The fuck you talking about? That bitch don't run shit but her fucking mouth. And until you step out and have the courage to do that, you don't even realize Cause you don't even have the courage. You still leaning on your daughter Tiffany, and you still yep. Showers at the gym too, right? Take a shower at the fucking gym. Spend your time going to the gym. After work, go to the gym, or you can do it in the morning. Take your shower. You can go to a, a gas station that has showers or the gym. Leave that bitch there. You don't let nobody go for your manhood. Women, women like to pounce on you and you can be so, I mean, you could be so fucked up when it comes to a bitch. You're not happy. When Think about it. Tomorrow when you wake up in the morning and you next to a bitch, if you happy or if you not. Think about it. The moment you leave that bitch and you begin to get peace, you begin to get peace. You begin to meditate on your life. You begin to meditate on your future. You begin to medit meditate on your goals. You begin to meditate on your vision. All that other shit. You're not going to ever want to be dealing with a bitch that will bring you problems. You're not going to ever want to be dealing with a woman that will stress you out. That has a lot to do with your heart. 
You want to, man, you want to have a, a stroke? You want to have a heart attack? That bitch trying to send you to, to, to your fucking, who want to argue all the goddamn time? You don't want to make love, nigga? You don't want to go to the beach? I mean, I want you to play in my hair. I want to lay beside you. I want to tell you how amazing you are to me. I want to tell you what you do to me. I want to tell you how you get me, how I get my pussy wet. I want to be that dirty ass freak. I want to be so dirty that the nasty shit I do, you be telling me, girl, you a girl. If your mama knew what the fuck you was doing, you would be in trouble. That's the type of bitch I am. That's the type of bitch you want to deal with. Because you're going to do it for her. She's not going to want to bring you stress. She's not going to bring you problems. She's going to want to go out. Baby, I want to go out to eat. And then she's sitting up under you. Bitch is kissing you in public. A bitch just want to grab your hand. A bitch is happy to be around you. Or you want to be with that miserable bitch at the house. Like, what, what you want? How the fuck you... And then you, you with bitches that will disrespect you in public. That bitch don't like you. That bitch do not like you. That she don't like you. I'm sorry. She don't. The moment a bitch is so powerful, she can say anything in public or she is like the most fucked up shit she can say. If that was my father, he would have gave her a reason to go to jail. I'm just saying that. My dad would have his goddamn hand around her goddamn throat. You got like fucked up, bitch. You disrespecting me and I'm putting food in your motherfucking mouth. Oh, hell no. My mama would never done do no shit like that. Or my grandmother. Or I wouldn't. If I have a problem with a man, why the fuck am I bringing it in public? She don't care, fam. She's cursing you out at the mall. She's cursing you out at the movie theater. She's cursing you out now. We know she's cursing your ass out behind the scenes. She's trying to put it out that you ain't taking care of your shit. You got me fucked up, bitch. That bitch gotta go. So tomorrow when you wake up, you know whether to take out the trash or not. Get that bitch one more day. What time it is? We got 10 more hours. Today is over. Tomorrow, when you wake up, if that bitch still on that fugazi ass shit, cut that bitch off. Take out the fucking trash. Take the trash out. Take the trash out. Pack your shit. Don't tell a bitch you leaving. Just pack your shit. She'll see you packing your... I don't give a fuck if you putting that shit in a garbage bag. Wait till your check come next week. Because you already living paycheck to paycheck. Because she, 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 she spending every goddamn thing. Come on now, fam. Like, let's just be real here. Men don't want to be fucking miserable. You just used to that miserable shit. And then you letting a bitch shame you on your sexual... Your, your sex... Your, your sex drive. How the fuck can a bitch shame you on your dick getting hard? Who the fuck does that? You don't control when your dick get hard. Your dick get hard to things that turn you on. But you got a bitch that thinking that she logical and she's emotional as fuck. She's trying to put you in the mindset that something's wrong with you because you have a dick. Do you get that? You Now, now all of a sudden, you, something's wrong with you because you have a dick. How the fuck that makes sense? That makes no sense. That's why you don't listen to her. She don't even know shit about no damn manhood. She don't even care. She's trying to control you and keep you in a submissive state. You are submissive to the point your dick don't even get hard no more. You ashamed of getting your dick hard for a bitch. That's control. And you fall for that shit. The next one. 